Well, hey folks, welcome to Solar Cabin Channel. Got a couple of products here uh, sent to me for review, and uh, I've talked about some of these types of products before. Uh, this first one is made by Sun Energies. It is a uh, 20 watt uh, solar panel that is uh, the primary use is for recharging vehicle batteries, any type of vehicle batteries. Uh, and I've used one all the time because here in winter time, we can drop to minus 15, minus 20 degrees. And if your battery's a little bit old or you just, you know, it, it's not a very big battery, uh, our winter temperatures will just zap the hell out of your batteries and they won't start up in winter time. So I have used one of these for, you know, a lot of years to keep my truck batteries and especially my vehicles that sit for a long period of time because I don't drive them that much. I keep one of these panels on my vehicles to keep them charged up in winter time. And this company sent me this one and this is a little bit different. It's a little unique. Uh, so I'll talk about it, uh, which I, which is why I was interested in, in reviewing it. Now this is uh, a little bit higher quality panel. Uh, this is, again, made by Sun Energies. And it is a 20 watt panel. But this is an, a, a panel that has an MPPT, Maximum Power Point Tracking, uh, controller on it where most of the in fact all of the other ones that i've got just have a a standard pwm controller an mppt controller will get you anywhere from 15 to 30 percent more power out of your solar panels uh because it it regulates the power instead of just being a shunt that, that shuts off when the the solar power drops below a certain level the MPPT will squeak out every little last bit of power out of the sunshine, making it a better panel. And it also is a monochrome uh, solar panel, which is a better, higher quality uh, solar panel uh, than the um, polychrome uh, solar panels. And it is also IP65 rated for weather. You can see it has a really solid case on it, unlike a lot of them that are just really thin, flim, uh, flimsy, uh, bendable panels. This is a solid, well-built panel, uh, 20 watt, monocrystalline with MPPT controller. Now, this comes with a long cable with a connector on it, and it has, as you can see, the light The light is already flashing green down there. I'm not connected to a battery, so it's telling me it's working, it's in the sunshine, but it's not connected to a source to charge up right now. And it has the connectors uh, so that you can connect this directly to your batteries or you can connect it in through the lighter socket. So it comes with both. <clears throat> now, I always connect mine with the, uh, directly to the battery, and I'll tell you why. Uh, this, this connector connects to the cord here, and then connects to your battery, and it's just a simple plug-in system, okay? And then you connect these to your battery, uh, I like that, and it's preferred, and the reason is a lot of the newer uh, cars, if you connect this cable using the uh, cigarette plug, a lot of the newer vehicles shut off the cigarette plug so you can't drain your battery down if you leave a gadget plugged in. So if you plug this into your lighter and you plug it into the panel, don't be surprised if it won't charge up new vehicles because your car will turn off the cigarette plug so it doesn't drain the battery. So, just keep that in mind. You may not want to use this plug. It might not work. Uh, and they also include, an ex a, if you want to do a direct wire uh, directly to your batteries instead of using the, the cable clamps, you can direct wire it. They include all three of these, which is nice. Okay, It's a, a more advanced system uh, that they send you here. This also has reverse polarity, so if you get your battery connected backwards, it won't damage anything. It just won't work. It won't charge up your battery. Uh, it does have the lights that tell you when it's green. If it's solid green, it's charging up. This does have a float uh, system MPPT charge controller, so once it reaches, it won't overcharge your batteries like some of the cheaper systems will. This won't overcharge your batteries. It will bring them right up to floated. I think it said 14.3 volts or 14.4 volts, which is full for a vehicle battery. Now, the way I'm going to use this, I will use it on my vehicles in winter, but in summer I have another use for this 20-watt uh, solar panel. And that's the other product that I'm going to show you here. <clears throat> we'll set this down here. 
The other product that I'm going to show you, again, the solar panels made by Sun Sun Energies. Sun Energize, okay? The other uh, product that I'm going to show you here, this is a battery. This is a what they call a LiFePo4, a lithium iron phosphate battery. This battery is made by Bacteria. That's Bacteria, not Bacteria. B-A-T-E-R-I-A, -E Bacteria Power. It is a 12.8 volt, 100 amp hour lithium uh, Life Pro 4 deep cycle battery. Now these batteries are very common. Uh, you can find them now, but I like this company. Uh, they're a fairly new company. They're also introducing them at a very low price. They're, uh, I will just say they're probably uh, lower than a lot of their competitors for their price. Now I'm going to open this up. I'll show you what's inside it, but this is a battery that can be used for all kinds of different purposes. It can be used just like a, a vehicle battery. Uh, primarily would be used for like RVs or places where you would need a deep cycle battery uh, or in my case I'm going to be using this for camping in I will show you here my uh, uh, Vardo camper or what's called a gypsy wagon camper along with this 20 watt solar panel will give me about three days of power for running all kinds of appliances recharging gadgets running my laptop uh, and uh, even cooking uh, in my Vardo camper so between the 20 watt solar panel, which will keep this charged up, uh, and the uh, 100 amp hour battery, I've got three days of reserve power. Now this would also work as a backup system uh, for uh, recharging gadgets, things like that, or you, if you need a emergency power system at your home, a 100 amp hour uh, battery like this, like Pro 4, will give you lots and lots of capacity for running things like the Alpacool fridge that I've discussed which is a 12 volt fridge for taking care of medications, uh, keeping food uh, fresh over a blackout at your house. So it's also a good system for that. So let me open this up and I'll show you what the battery looks like. Okay, and just so you can see what I'm going to be using, this is, this is my Vardo or Gypsy Wagon camper. I, I built this myself on this trailer. I'm going to be towing it with that truck out there to take camping with me. And I'm going to be using this uh, system, uh, this uh, 12 volt uh, Life Pro 4 battery and this 20 watt solar panel and that's enough power for me uh, for three days of good camping uh, in my Vardo for uh, recharging my laptop which I use all the time, recharging phones, running some small appliances and running a 12 volt refrigerator which is pretty much all I need for power when I go camping. Okay so I got this out of the box, it was, was, was very well packaged in the box uh, with good styrofoam all the way around it, no damage or anything to the battery. Again, this is the Bacteria Power 12.8 uh, volt 100 amp hour battery. And here's the technical data. Uh, this is a LiPo 4 battery, nominal voltage 12.8 volts, 100 amp hour, uh, nominal capacity 80 amp hour, nominal energy 1280 watt hours, 4000 cycles. Now that's really good. Uh, 4000 cycles is going to last you a very long time. Now to compare this, I've used AGM batteries. Uh, which all glass mat batteries, which is very common for deep cycles that a lot of us use that are off grid nowadays. A comparable 100 amp hour AGM battery, you're probably only going to be, get maybe five to seven years of life out of it. At 4,000 cycles, you're going to get at least a good 10 years of a lifetime and probably anywhere closer to 12 to 15 years of lifetime of use out of a uh, life pull 4 battery. So you're going to get a, at least double. Uh, usually of what you'd get for an AGM. So keep that in mind. You're getting about twice the lifespan and you're getting about twice the, the uh, capacity, the storage capacity. A 100 amp hour AGM because they can only be drained down to about 50% before you start doing damage to the battery. A, a LifePo 4 can be drained down 100% and you're not doing any damage to the battery. So you're going to get about twice as much uh, storage capacity in a LifePo 4 battery as you will compared to a 100 amp uh, AGM battery. So keep that in mind when you start thinking about comparing prices on these batteries. Yes, the AGM are less expensive, but you're not getting uh, near as long life cycle and you're not getting as near as long uh, capacity on an AGM as you will a LifePo. Now, they also include, which is nice, they include uh, these short cables. Uh, for connecting it to something like an inverter or something like that. Uh, the other eight, uh, a LiPo 4 batteries I got, they didn't include any cables, so that's really nice that they include those. Now these batteries are, this 100 amp hour, one of the reasons I like this, I'm going to be using this my Varda, which means I'm going to be 
uh, putting in my Varda when I go camping, and then I'll bring it in the cabin and use it for a backup power supply when I'm not camping. These are, are relatively light, about 12 kilograms. You can see this, about 12 kilograms. I can lift that up easily with one hand. You know, anybody uh, should be able to lift that up. And when if you're using these like for a, a uh, power a backup power system, that's really nice because you can move it around. You can put it inside your closet. These are completely uh, maintenance free. There is no maintenance to do on these. You don't have to check water. There's no acid involved in these. They don't. They work on a different technology, at, which makes them so that they can be safely used even inside your home. Okay. They don't off gas like a lead acid battery would. Now these. Uh, are used a lot for uh, RVs, uh, small solar power systems, uh, camping, and also for emergency backup power systems. Because you can connect these, which I'll show you here. Then it says on the top of the battery, positive and negative, uh, and just take your cables, okay? Connect them to the positive and the negative. Okay, so it shows in the instructions, just to make sure that I'm reading this correctly, it's showing a red slow flashing light, and according to that, it means that the, the uh, solar charger is working to charge and the battery is activated. Now, when it turns completely solid green, that means that the battery is completely charged up. Now, this is a 20-watt solar panel. It's going to take quite a while to recharge this battery up. But because I'm only using this battery when I go camping, I can set this up, recharge it. You know, I, I probably only go camping once a month. I can recharge this battery completely up, no problem. And it'll charge it up probably in about completely from empty to full in about five days of good sunshine. And it, this is enough power to keep it charged for gadgets and the small appliances and things that I'm going to be using this for, running my laptop, recharging my phone, maybe running a few small uh, camping appliances for cooking. This panel will work. If you want, you can get the much larger panels, and I've got 100 watt panels that I could attach to this. A general rule is, if you want to recharge a 100 amp hour battery, you need at least double that in solar power to recharge it about five to six hours. So you'd want about 200 watts of solar power to recharge this in about five to six hours of good sunlight. That's just a general rule. But for if you're using this sporadically as a backup emergency system, these small 20 watt panels will do the job and keep them charged up. All right, so that is the Bacteria Power 12.8 uh, volt, 100 amp hour uh, LifePo 4 battery that I'm going to be using uh, for power in my Vardo uh, camper when I go camping. This is the Sun Energies, make sure I get the name correct, uh, Sun Energize. Uh, 20 watt solar panel with MPPT power controller, much better than PWM, uh, IP96, all weatherproof casing, and uh, monocrystalline solars with the three connectors that you can use for your vehicles, or you can use it for uh, making your own power backup system. All right, folks, hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day.